Hello, everyone. This is Chrisom, and I'd like to welcome you to another conversation about your Kundalini Awakening experience. In this conversation, I'd like to discuss with you the simplicity of your life within a Kundalini context. If you look behind me, you'll see the remains of Corf Castle, I believe it's called, or Corfu Castle. Uh, this was built in the 12th century. Uh, I've taken some videos of some of the food choices that they had in the 12th century. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best food for you to have within your Kundalini Awakening uh, process, but I am suggesting that more natural, uh, less processed foods will be best for you, especially without spices. Without spices, without high fructose corn syrups, without caffeine, without white processed flours or white processed sugars. Try to make your diet as simple and somewhat bland as you can as you go through the early aspects of your Kundalini Awakening experience. Don't let society push you around in this regard. Don't let the commercials that you'll see on television or hear on the radio say, ah, the new such and such cola or the oh, the new pastry or the new candy or the new gum or the new whatever. Don't let that come into your conscious, uh, consciousness with regards to consuming. Keep it very simple, very pure, and as raw as you can. Now, I understand that a lot of people feel that in order to have kundalini, well, you must be a staunch vegetarian, and that's just not the case. That is not the case. Kundalini will take control of your dietary concerns. It will decide what you eat that day, that morning, that noon, that night. Kundalini will decide. Sometimes, yes, it will say, just have vegetarians. And it will say it in a way of uh, giving you a compulsion towards what it wants you to eat. So, uh, yes, it will give you veg vegetables and fruits and, and things of that nature. And yes, it will give you different kinds of meat as well. Kundalini will take the compact proteins in that, in that animal matter and use it as part, as part of the cellular transformation that's occurring on you. So if you do have the meat, definitely make sure that it is organic, that it is non-GMO, that it's, you know, it's been killed cleanly and humanely. Don't just go to the supermarket and buy what you find on the shelf. Do a little research in the food that you eat. Seriously, do a little research in the food that you eat and bring the best materials that you can into your diet, into your Kundalini Awakening diet. Remember, this is a sacred temple that is being built within you. For the best uh, opportunities of health and grace, allow yourself to eat as pure and as cleanly as you can. Thanks for watching.